Hi, I'm Simon from Kent Libraries. Today's story is Gur by Rob Bidolf and with permission of Harper College Children's Books. Each year, for as long as the forest has stood, a contest is held for the bears of the wood. And the bear that has won for three years in a row is a grizzly called Fred. He's the star of the show. A brilliant fish catcher. A fine hula hooper. <laughs> At scaring the humans, he's really quite super. There's one thing, however, for which he is best known. When Fred does his loud grrr, he's out on his own. <laughs> He's on his own too, all day long, while he's training. There's no time for buddies, but Fred's not complaining. Who needs Jemima's or David's or Sophie's? My friends are my prizes, my medals, my trophies. Now this guy is Boris, mm. the new bear in town. He's entered the contest to win Fred Bear's crown. He's big, and he's strong, and he's fast, and he's clever. They say that his gur is the loudest gur ever. But why is he trying to keep out of sight? So sneaky and quiet in the still of the night. He's leaving Fred's cave. If you didn't know better, You'd swear that he had something under that sweater. <laughs> the day of the contest, and this could spell trouble. Poor Fred's woken up with no gur in his bubble. What terrible luck! What a shame! What a bore! Two hours to the contest, and Fred has lost his roar! Woohoo! Meanwhile, in the treetop, a helpful young owl looks down through the leaves at the bear with no growl. With a hoot and a flutter, he jumps from his perch. My name is Eugene. Can I help with the search? Not sure what to do and not sure what to say, Fred smiles at Eugene and he whispers, OK. So, they look in the greenhouse. They look in the shed. They look through the laundry and under the bed, the top of the wardrobe, inside it, behind it. They turn the place over, but still they can't find it. Then Eugene calls Hepzibar. Hello. She soon appears. I'm here for the hunt and I've brought volunteers. An army of helpers all helping our hero. But how many growls do these helpers find? Zero. Uh-oh. Now it's time for the contest to start. Come along. Fred, get a move on. Quick smart. Good luck. Shouts Eugene as Fred leaves in a hurry. We've all come along to support you. Don't worry. First, it's the fish catching. Fred is on fire. Look at that score getting higher and higher. Next, at the hula hoop, Boris is spinning with five more than Fred. He's definitely winning. <laughs> at scaring the humans, it's hard to deny, they are both pretty scary. Let's call it a tie. And now for the loud gur, the last round of all. But who's in the lead? Well, it's too close to call. First up is Boris. A deep breath. And then... Look at that needle! It's pointing to ten! Now Fred's in the spotlight. He puffs out his chest. He opens his mouth. And he hopes for the best. <laughs> 
extraordinary state of affairs. Fred lost his girl, but his helpers found theirs. The sound is so loud that it makes Boris jump. <coughs> and look what just fell to the ground with a bump. Fred's girl, says Eugene. It was you all along. You're a bad, bad bear, Boris, and cheating is wrong. <laughs> it's true, Boris cries. I'm guilty. I did it. I went to Fred's cave, took his growl, and then hid it. I'm new here, you see. I live all alone. I don't really have any friends of my own. I hoped that if people thought I was a winner, then maybe sometimes they might pop round for dinner. <laughs> Fred looks at Boris, and what does he see? A bear that's not all that different to he. A bear that is lonely. A bear that is sad. A bear that is maybe not totally bad? I think we're both winners, says Fred. And what's more, I'd like to be friends. And he holds out a paw. <laughs> really? Says Boris who gets to his feet and gives Fred a bear hug. Oh, isn't that sweet? They'll always remember how this story ends. Oh. That Fred lost his girl, Ooh. but discovered his friends. <laughs>